Hello, CW, and I'm here. This is Simply Love to do your love reading, your 30-minute love reading that you um, that you wanted me to do for you. And thank you so much for choosing me to be your reader. So I'm going to start the reading, and I'm going to be using several different love decks for you today. I'll introduce them as I go along in the reading. Um, uh... What else was I going to say? Oh, <laughs> just sit back and enjoy the video. Um, uh, let's see, I hope all this would resonate to you. Um, I, oh, what I wanted to tell you, I was supposed to think, I think I was supposed to have it done for you yesterday, but I had to cancel two appointments yesterday because I was very, very sick. I couldn't hardly talk. You know, my nose was all congested. I think I had some kind of sinus affection. So yesterday I went out and got some, um, some stuff to try to help out and it helped out a lot I got a lot I just went to bed early yesterday and got some rest and I'm back up this morning and I said well let me get your video out for you I was supposed to have it out yesterday so I'm so sorry like I said I had to cancel a couple of uh, people to talk to also so I feel so much better this morning and I do apologize uh, for this video being late if uh, it's supposed to have been there today but you will have it there today in your inbox uh, at the email address that you provided for me, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is just shuffle the cards really good for you. I'm going to start out with some love cards and see what they have to say. Just give me a general idea what's going on. Excuse me as I pause. Okay, let's see here what these cards have to say for you. There is supposed to be some type of travel in it coming up here for you. Um, if there is maybe a love mate or if there's somebody uh, being that we're not, not talking back and forth. I'm, uh, the guys that may give uh, several uh, scenarios to me. Um, but they are mentioning travel here for you. Your per your partner may be long distance. If you're not partnered up yet, it may, it may be a long distance relationship. You could be where you're talking to somebody on the internet or some of that nature that you're that they're far away from you in a, in this type of relationship. It looks like it may be long distance or it may take some type of travel. And the person it may be some of a medium to dark. Uh, complected person they may even be um, a different or origin than you or they may be uh, from another country another state another county something like that that uh, angel gods are giving me um, this is some type of family situation going on here that may take place or already has or will it may be you're looking for because it's whoever this person is it's going to be true love they're showing me so so far everything really looks good you know love life wise but then again i'm looking at this fair man here male here is this somebody uh, from your past or somebody that you're thinking about maybe uh not they're not treating you right or something of that nature let's go on and see it may be somebody that you're dating right now is that may, m might be what's going on with this person because the dating card is following behind this fair male but there is a darker male not saying they're dark dark or you know they just have a, maybe like a, a darker skin tone than this fair male uh, person and um, there's somebody that you have to travel to see and, and, they, and they may have a family or it could be your family whoever it is is a, a, a true love somebody that you're supposed to be with but this person is also coming up so there may be two people headed here that you may have to choose from that you're maybe dating or might be dating um oh yeah figured it i knew it triangle that's what i was looking for that triangle card to pop up there's three people here in this situation look like there's <laughs> see that two guys and, and, and one woman in the middle there's a choice you got to make here. You got to choose. Okay. Um, it looks like maybe they both give you gifts. Maybe they're very nice to you. Maybe they're good to you. And, and you know, you like them both or something of that nature. You have fun times with, with them. Looks like they're telling me. 
Um, and lots of communication. You know, there's communication text via text, via telephone call, via computer. Maybe one of them you talk is falling under the fair, fair male guy. He may be the one that's closest to you right now. Um, so that's maybe who you form. But there is uh, somebody that's going to be uh, in your, your your destiny, you know, that you're fated to be with. Um, also, there's good friendships. I see there's people that's around you that's really close to you that are good friendships that you can rely on. But there there op- there's obstacles in the way. And that falls up under the family gifts uh, uh, card. So there is some obstacles. Like I said, it's got something to do with this triangle. Have to make a decision. But you're feeling like the beauty queen right now. You're like living it up and having fun, which is coming under, <laughs> under the fun times card. And that looked like somebody having fun too. Really, you know, just having her fun. Uh, but there is still, again, children involved in this situation. So let's pick out another deck here. And see what that deck has to say about your love life. It's either you have to choose between two people or your mate, somebody, whoever you're talking to may have to choose between two people. Um, I'm going to read the Romance Angel cards to you, okay, and see what they come up with. I read several decks just for confirmation so you'll know that the angel gods, what they're really trying to say to you, okay? So let me shuffle these up really well. Excuse my silence while I shuffle. Just asking the angel gods to come in and give you the messages that you need to hear. And I'm saying CW to keep it you know, personal and private. Don't need to say your name. Even though nobody knows who you are anyways. That's what I tell people. They don't know who you are personally. But I'm just going to keep it on initial basis only. There's one that just fell out. Um, they're saying they're saying stay optimistic about your love life. That means stay positive about your love life. Okay, whatever is happening with your love life, if you have a choice, or maybe that per other person may have a choice, stay optimistic, stay positive about it. Uh, forgiving and learning. There's somebody you may, maybe need to forgive and need to learn a lesson from. There's some forgiveness that needs to take place here. Um. Um, sorry about that. Some attraction. You attract, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So yeah, you are uh, feeling good about yourself and you're making, um, you're making, uh, these people attracted to you. Um, heart to heart. There need to be some heart to heart conversations. Um, honest, discuss, discuss your uh, feelings with your, with each other. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You and whoever it is that you're feeling, feeling kind of serious about, or if they feeling serious about you, there needs to be a discussion. There is a past life relationship as I thought. Uh, like somebody may be returning, you have, or you've known somebody, this person you may know before. Whoever they're talking about with this situation, you've known each other before. So it's a past life situation, or it may feel like a past life situation. It's one or the other. Um, this could be the one. Is what your angel guys is saying about this person that may be coming back, maybe in your life right now that you may need to make some kind of decision about, or they may, they may, you may need to talk to them about making some kind of decision, or you may need to make a decision. It could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner um, that you see is what they're saying. Um, uh, it'd be worth the wait. It'll be worth waiting for. So hang in there with whoever it is that you you know, are worried about right now because it just looks like you need to talk things out or something or nature is what they're showing me. You may need to just have some conversation with one another about, about your relationship, like where is it going, what you're go what's going to be doing, because there's a reconciliation card coming up here. You want to reconcile with this person. Someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? So I hope that answered your questions as far as your 
romantic because it looked like somebody from the past is coming back. Uh, it's going to be some, there's going to be some, need some heart to heart talking. It's going to need to be some grounding. You're going to have to, if it's you, um, and you know, and you're, you know, having to choose or something like that, or is there two, you have two people to choose from. You're going to have to be up and honest and straight up, uh, forward to this person with it. Or if it's that other person, they're going to have to be uh, straight up and honest with you about, that's why they said have serious conversations. So now I'm going to read the alphabet cards, see what we can look at more. But it looks like somebody from your past. But there is another person. If it's not that person, it's you because I, I'm, not, I'm not talking to you. We're not getting any type of feedback. So I'm just going to go by, you know, what the angel gods is showing me here um, um, because um. It's a little bit, little bit, a little bit more difficult when the person is not, on, you know, on the phone or talking on the phone a little bit. But usually we can hit it on a point here. So if it's the other person that's seeing another two people, you and someone else, it looks like there may be some need to be some talking. You know, somebody needs to step up and talk and, you know, and, and get things straightened out there, like find out who they want to be with. Because, oh, these two just pop right out. Um, because there need to be some heart, there need to be some heart to heart discussions. Somebody need to put their foot down and, um, really, really come to a conclusion about some things. Sorry, something come up on my computer. I'm talking about restart. I have to postpone that restart. I'm in the middle of doing this. <laughs> Can't have the computer shutting down. Here's one that fell out. Here's one that out. I'm reading, going to read four of them. Okay, let me put on my specs. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. I'm going to let you see the visual first, okay? Possessiveness possesses possess excuse me i have a little uh, possess possessiveness and envy is in this relationship that's why they're talking about you need to have a heart to heart conversation there's somebody being possessive possessive and envy there's some possessive and enviness going on here and um it causes mm Somebody don't want to let go. Somebody is trying to hold on too tight in this relationship. Um, and then, oh wow, the second card that comes out here is saying sober, uh, sobering up from illusion. Somebody, either you or this other person that you're involved with needs to come up out of the illusion. Come out of the delusion and and open your eyes and see what's going on right in front of your face. That's what this card is basically saying. Stop at, you know, stop acting either you or this other person. You know, you put it in the content of the reading. You put it the way it, it comes out. Somebody there's some, there is some, um, possessiveness and some envy here in this relationship and it is causing, you know, some, some problems. This is some problems here. Somebody's holding on too tight. Somebody don't want to let go of somebody. And that's, that's probably why the angel guy said you need to discuss this thing maybe with this person or maybe this person is the one you need to let go. Maybe it's the new person that maybe or the second person in the life that, that you may need to get a uh, hold of. Um, because this is, this is a total illusion. They, um, you're, you, you know, it, it's, it's, it's like you're in, somebody's in denial in this relationship. That's all there is to say. There's some denial going on. Paying for mistakes. We all got to pay for the mistakes that we make. That's all they're saying. If there was mistakes made, if there was fighting or fussing or anything going on here if there was a breakup or a blow up because of some insecurities within you or or that other or the other part party um they're paying for those mistakes right now you know it's almost like the karma card it's like you know you get paid back for what you do to somebody that's not right 
Okay, and I'm going to show you this. Preserving the flame of love. So, again, this is basically saying, all this is telling me a little story about, you know, whoever you're involved with had, or, or, or the other person has some, had some tendencies to be very possessive and, and jealous, okay? And that's what caused the problems between you two. But it looks like, you know, Somebody suffered because maybe of a breakup. It looked like you two have your back turned to each other in this card. Maybe a breakup or, you know, just don't want to see what's going on. Somebody don't want to see what's happening. It shows illusions and delusions. So somebody don't want to see, face the fact of what's going on. You need to wake up and have that conversation. Remember from the other first deck that I did. No, the second deck that I did. You need to wake up and have some type of, uh, 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 conversation because like again, as the cards are repeating themselves, preserving the flame of love. So it looks like maybe a get back together or something, but you have to talk about it. You have to talk it out between each other. So, and, and explain what the problem is, why, you know, it broke up, but somebody, somebody wanted you or the other person went through some type of karmic situation, um, to where it had to be, something had to be broken in order for it to be fixed in order for this person to wake up and see either you or the other person. All right, now I'm going to do the lover's oracle cards, okay? And they're shaped like hearts, too, by Tony Carmine. They're shaped like hearts. This is all about love here. So what I do, I just take these cards and go like this. They're hard to shuffle. So you have to, like, play with them like this because they're shaped like hearts. They're hard to, hard to shuffle, but I'm going to get them nice and shuffled up for you. Okay, I'm going to get this one because that popped out in my lap. And, oh, they're just popping out all over the place. For you, my dear, or it's <laughs> CW. I'm going to pick that one. Okay, so I got four cards out of that. Let's see here what they have to say. Your love oracle cards, okay? This is what the visual. You can see that. And what it's saying is imagine all unwanted thoughts uh, um, dissolving into light, creating a room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So basically they're saying imagine good things, imagine new possibilities of your of your life, imagine um dissolving uh into light, like just creating, you know, making room for new possibilities and opportunities. Um like I said, it, it looked like it could be a choice here, either you or the uh, your partner. It could be a choice, it could be two people here that we're talking about. Again, or it may be a possible rec reconciliation. The choice may be yours. It looks like it's telling me that. It may be, or the other person, the other person that you're with, they may have a choice to make, you know. Um, this is re reflection. This is the reflection card. Okay. Give each other, uh, some space. So you need to give each other some space, whoever this is that you're in a committed relationship with, whoever this is that you're thinking about, or this other person may need to give you some space. Give each other space, and both of you do, at this moment. Trust and have faith that all will work for out for the best. So they're saying it's going to work out for the best. Um, and, you know, you have to believe in the possibilities. You know, it's possible. Things could work out for the best. Very possible. Very possible. Okay. Um, the next card says here, this is what this looks like. 
don't make decisions um based on guilt or what you what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others yeah so don't make a, a decision out of guilt or a, a decision out of um fear or any of that stuff your decision is going to have to be made on firm ground in order for a relationship to be firm and to stand strong that means you have to stand in your truth you have to tell um they have to tell you or you have to tell them or you have to tell each other the truth about the relationship and where it will go in order for it to work if you want this relationship to work so you know when it comes that y'all having that heart to heart conversation as we said previously which you could rewind and see don't make a decision based on guilt don't let nobody make you feel guilty to get back with them or you don't make nobody else feel guilty to get back with them because like i said somebody's up has obsessions and envy like kind of uh jealousy and some obsessions uh with each other and that's the problem that's the problem in this relationship now i'm gonna show you this card and it says when you um pass from this world you take um nothing with you but your um but your soul and the memories you have shared with each other though with those that you love so basically they're saying you know learn to love one another you know because when you leave this earth, your your soul's gone. It's gonna go and it last forever. And all you're gonna have is the memories that you shared here with other people. So learn to love and 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 be loved. Learn to love and be loved. So you can take those memories with you when you when your when your body drops from when your spirit leaves your body and enters into the uh, everlasting. You want to take your, you want to take loving, happy memories with you. So this is a very serious card to take seriously. And if there's a, you know, fussing and fighting or something really, really terrible going on, it needs to stop because you don't want to take those type of memories with you when you're gone. They wouldn't mention that if, 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 you know, they wouldn't be so, mentioning that, nothing like that if it, if there were, if it wasn't of a, a serious situation here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some healing with the angels cards. I'm going to pull a couple of those for you and see what they say for you. Okay, let me just pull a couple of cards here. Let's see what kind of advice the angel gods can give you, okay? About your situation, CW. Okay, the first card they're saying they suggest for you to focus. Stay focused. See, you know, the situation again, the cards are repeating themselves. Um, see the situation, whatever the situation is, see it for what it is. Talk about it. Get things out in the air. And be focused on what you're doing. And also, um, get out in nature. You may not want to get out, or, you know, be around trees, take nature, um, sit by the water, sit under a tree, 
talks to you too. You know, nature talks to you. Um, you'd be surprised how it talks to the spirit because that's what we are anyway. We're, we're, we're made of the earth. So it's very nurturing. Um, it's also saying blessings will come out of this. So that's good. They are going to bring you blessings. They're going to be blessing your life. Okay. Um, as you focus and go out in nature, meditate, there's meditation, and you'll have serenity, you'll have peace. You'll have peace. Peace is coming to you, but you have to want it. You're going to have peace. You have to want that, okay? So that basically overall was very, very good. It's not nothing really too serious. It needs something needs to be... Somebody, somebody needs to, um, what's going on here? This thing was stopping or something. Somebody needs to, um, you two, you two need to talk, looks like to me. You just need to talk. Now, I'm going to give you something also, messages uh, from the angels, angels, okay? Let me shuffle these up a little bit and see what uh, the messages from the angels have also to say. These messages from the angels is good when you're doing a love reading because they kind of like help you out and go in what direction to go in, um, what you need to really um, ask your angels for, the angel guides that surround you each and every day, okay? Okay, let me take two out of here, and then this should be the it for the reading. That'll be your 30-minute love reading there. It's not a whole lot for 30 minutes, you know. Um, if you get the hour, it is a little bit very, very more detailed than this, okay? Um, Daniel, Angel Daniel says, I'm the angel of marriage, and I'm assisting you right now. Wow, so this could lead to a possible marriage CW, the angel of marriage popped up here. So, you know, with the, with some help, your angel guides and everything, it's a possibility this may turn out to be marriage. Now we have the angel Athena, okay? It's safe for you to uh, be powerful. You know how to uh, be powerful in a... Um, in a loving way, you know how to be powerful in a loving way is what they're saying, but benefits others as well as yourself. So they're saying you get your power back, you know, um, start to love, love yourself, love others, and all will be well. Your angel guide, Athena, is saying that to you. Okay. Okay. So, um... Let's see, we got a little bit more time. Let me try one more thing for you that I'd like to do for you. And I do love these. These are my crazy, sexy love notes. And I'm going to read one from there. And then that's going to conclude the reading from you, okay? Let me shuffle these up really good. I love these cards. They already, they always give a like a, a solid ending to to uh, to me in a relationship reading. Oh, look what came up! Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. You or somebody in this relationship, you need to make up. You need to kiss and make up. You really do. You are carrying around, uh, you're, you're carrying around a regret. And we, we had that card before. These cards are really confirm, you know, they're just giving confirmation. You're carrying around regret, but that don't mean you have to get back with somebody because of regret. You can just say you're sorry and go on if you have to. Um, it, uh, is this, 
uh, is there a relationship that needs healing? Yes, there is because we've seen that already. But you just don't know what to say. Give your pride a rest. So give, put your pride aside, give it a rest, and simply start with, I'm sorry. That's all you got to start with, you or someone in your, around you. Um, take responsibility and acknowledge your role in the situation. So acknowledge what you have done. Regard, you know, like I said, that heart to heart conversation need to come up, but you both need to acknowledge and you need, need to put your pride aside and say, you're sorry if you want to be with this person. And take responsibility and acknowledge your role in this situation. Apologize for, for them and for you too. Okay? Apologize for them and you. Then let it go and be very proud of yourself. Making amends isn't easy, but it's a huge, huge leap towards your, your on your situation path. Bravo to you. Bravo to you. All right, CW, I'm so glad. Like I said, thank you so much for letting me be your reader. That was your 30-minute love reading. I, like I said, if it was an hour, it would be even more detailed than this. But 30 minutes, I only have so much time. And But I use quite a bit of cards here for the 30-minute reading. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it resonated with you. You can always email me or text me and let me know when you get your video and give me some type of feedback, okay? Again, thank you for letting me do your reading for you uh, and, and take your your angel gods you can always listen to this over and over again take your angel gods advice to you so you can either mend the relationship or um uh, uh get re release the guilt from a relationship or something of that nature you can apologize and let go and move on to another relationship if that's what you want to do but don't let nobody force you in a relationship that you don't want to be in or vice versa that person don't you force yourself to be in the relationship that uh somebody else don't want to be in apologize to each other and just let it go if it's that scenario okay if that's not the scenario if you love one another somebody's going to have to fess up and you're going to have to talk about it and you're going to have to um you know, apologize and agree with each other, apologize for whatever they've done or whatever or for, and for your role and whatever happened in this if you want this to be solved. It may be where it's just going to be, it's showing reconciliation also in there. So you can just go back and view the video again if you missed out on some parts that you know how it fell together there and put it into your, incorporate it into your life as it is now, okay? Again, thank you again and I, I appreciate you and I hope to hear back from you and you have yourself a wonderful wonderful valentine's day and i hope all goes well god bless and goodbye